Hey guys, day two. We're at the very last parking spot here, uh, getting ready to head down to the village and check out more inner bike stuff. I'm at the back of the pack. I'm always struggling to keep up, but I got the video posted yesterday and I'm excited to, to check a few things out today. Thanks for leaving the comments. I'm going to uh, try to cover things people asked about and it uh, should be good, should be good stuff. Hey guys, uh, cruising around, I saw the Oyama booth here. I've done some reviews with them in the past. This is Ken, he's the, I don't know, what are you, like the North America head master guy? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, 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 I am the top honcho. I'm the C <laughs> CEO of Fold Away and uh, you, North American agent for Oyama Bicycles. Point out the e-bikes, e because I see you've got some non-electrics yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, we, we do, because Oyama is globally famous for their folding bikes but they're now really getting a lot of traction with their folding electric bikes. Half Just of them are electric right oh, here. Yeah. That's great, man. Oh yeah, it's, you know, we've got two versions. This is the original version, which you had reviewed. What's it, it called? It is called the CX E8 D and they have the version one here. Nice. It is just a sweet bike. It retails for $12.99. Wow. Unfortunately, like everyone else, is going to be affected by the tariffs. Going up a little bit? It's going up a little bit. Like $14.99? $14.99 now. Sweet. It has mechanical disc brakes. It has an Icoma 250 watt yep. rear hub motor with about 50 newton meters of torque. It's a speed sensor. Oh with yeah, here. And simple then, LED. Is that the same one coming back? This is the CXE A2, but version two. Huh. But this is, I'm really proud of this because I was involved in really all the product selection. And we happen to have David, the he is the guru, the designer of Sweet. the controller of the EDS. It's got the fancy one. So this yeah. is the old one was like LED. Now you got some LCD action. Oh yeah, but check this out. Oh, you have it in. You have it in the engineering mode now. Oh, of course. But but this display, you can uh, you can get in and you can run diagnostics. Lots of good stuff. You have full control. You can add on both of them. You can also add a throttle it if you want. Oh, cool. You guys sell that like a trigger or a twist throttle? A twist throttle has been what everyone wants. That's what they want, huh? And it and okay. it plugs right in. And then I noticed you got the hydraulic disc brakes, you got yeah. Altus a little bit raised. A uh, torque sensor, this has in the, 60 newton meters of torque. I love how the battery's hidden. Yeah, the battery's in here, here. We'll, we'll open it up. Got the lights. Give a, how a much is, is this one, Ken? Because this is, this is like your nice one, right? Yeah, it still is about 370 watt hours, but here we'll open up the hood. And oh yeah, USB. USB power and master power switch okay, nice. there. How much does this retail for? Currently, it's eighteen ninety nine. It too is going to be affected by the tariffs, but, but it's going up to nineteen ninety nine. Okay, well, sweet. It's been fun to see your booth. Always neat to see what you're up to these days. Thank you for chatting. Absolutely. Thank you, Court. <laughs> hey guys, I was cruising around and I found Mondraker. Uh, this is a Spanish company, right? That's right, yeah. They're based out of Alicante, Spain, and then we are, as a U.S. distributor, out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Rock so, on. Yeah. I was born there. So awesome. It's, it's cool. a sweet place, <laughs> nice. man. Some yeah. good riding in that in Absolutely. that area as well. That was great. I'm seeing a lot of mountain models here. You said that maybe in Europe they have uh, a, like a commuter bike or something, but the three e-bikes, and it sounds like this, this is kind of the first year, year and a half that you've brought some into the U.S. Exactly. They're all mountain models, and they, they look pretty premium, man. Can you just yeah. walk me through the offering? Absolutely, yeah. So here we have our brand new um, level RR so this is our 29er um, it's the 170 mil platform so wow. this is a, a big bike um, ready to handle all of your e-bike you know mountain needs um, nice. this is coming with the Bosch system uh-huh and the um, EX1 is this the e-bike specific exactly. drivetrain from That's SRAM yeah. what does that bring like, what do you get from that you get a ton of more durability um, but most importantly uh, a biggest issue that e-bikes have is a lot of people will shift under power yeah you might be putting out say 200 watts yeah but the bike is putting out let's say 400 watts sure so there's a lot more pressure on your chain than you believe um, so what that does is with this being stronger it can handle that load are they um, steel cogs or what's the is it just an alloy it is steel stronger? cogs but honestly SRAM is definitely gonna be better for details on that I don't know all the all the deep specs but yeah it's a much stronger drivetrain um, so you don't have to worry about you know uh, replacing cassettes often chains etc um, so it's a nice beefy drivetrain is this the Shimano this is the Bosch system? oh this one's Bosch I was wondering because I looked at the 
It does have the hidden bat with power tube. Right now, yeah. It does have the, the power tube. Nice internal right. routing. And I was looking at that proprietary sprocket up front. Um, that's what Bosch is known for. I'm guessing this must be the CX, yeah, the high torque exactly. setup. Long travel on this thing. So is this sort of like a downhill bike? Uh, I wouldn't call it a downhill. I'd call it kind of a in a mountain bike world, a super enduro. Okay. So this yeah. is going to go. The best way I can describe this is you can go up any, climb up anything, but then you can ride the gnarliest moto trails or DH trails and still have a ton of confidence. You know, with that Bosch system, get it kind of automatically means you're going to have a longer wheelbase. Uh -huh. So it's going to be really stable on the descents, especially on the turns and everything. Um, so it's just a really solid platform. Well, and that's what we were, there's the Shimano right over there. Exactly. Tell me about this one. Yeah, so this guy, this is actually my favorite platform in our e-bike series. Um, so this is called the E Crusher. Specifically, this one's the RR. So this is our highest end. So you can see it has the same brakes. Um, oh man, you know, quad Fox piston caliper. You know, factory suspension. Oh yeah. Um, but with the Shimano system, what that allows us to do is bring the rear wheel in closer. Uh -huh. um, and that makes it to where this rides less like an e-bike and more like a mountain bike. So it's really playful. Um, it's just really fun bike on the trails. You can throw it around, uh, you know, kind of whip that rear end around on turns. And well, it's carbon fiber, so it's got to be pretty lightweight too. Exactly, yeah. It's a full carbon frame. Um, so yeah, this can go ride all your fun cross-country trails or all your techie you know climbs and descents and the biggest thing that I got out of this is like it made the climbs really fun that before I was like ah okay we'll climb up this you know it's not bad but now it's like okay where's the techie climbs I want to go climb up something I shouldn't you know it's awesome so it's really fun yeah it's a great drive system this it tends to be a little bit lighter weight I think than yeah. um, the Bosch and you've got the integrated battery exactly. design this looks sort of custom did how did that work out yeah so this is a custom cover here um, so if you just pop this guy off, it's really easy to access the battery and the internals, but it keeps everything looking really sleek. If you did happen to have a rock hit this guy or something, obviously it's going to be easy to replace uh -huh. um, and protect the battery, most importantly. Okay, and then what's this final bike over here? This is longer travel, yeah? So this is our our new Crafty. This is specifically is the R. So this is our little bit shorter travel. Um, still going to be great on all your all-mountain trails, but it's, you can think of it as more of our trail e-bike. Okay, um, okay, great. It's also a little bit more budget friendly because this is an alloy frame. So This yeah. makes sense because I'm seeing this looks like air suspension in the rear versus we had the, the coil rear exactly, over there. On the, on the big beef kick deck. Man, and I love the colors on that thing. It's kind of that vintage yeah. race car, like the light blue. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, beautiful kind of like stuff. the old Ford GT. Yeah. And then another Bosch motor here. So it looks like the... When we're comparing these bikes, it's like longest travel, yeah. medium travel, and then shortest travel here? Exactly. I mean, it's country. still in the mountain world, you couldn't totally call this a short travel, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, in, in our e-bike world, exactly. It is going to yeah. be on our shorter platform there. Um, but most importantly, it's got the alloy frame, makes it a little more budget friendly, but it's still a fantastic cable machine. I love the power tube integration. I also like that you've got some bosses here, maybe for like a tool, is that what that's for? Because you've got bottle cages. Like It's just giving you multiple options, because you never know with how long people are going to be riding on their e-bikes. Yeah. Um, you know, and what's really cool is, let's say you do have this battery, but you're going on a really long ride and you have a couple of bottles. Yeah. Um, something you might be able to show your readers later, e even has a backpack that allows you to hold a battery that has a nice little compartment just for the battery. We were talking about that. So is yeah. it designed to fit like multiple battery types? Like, you know, Bosch power tubes are kind of this long skinny thing. It was designed specifically for the external Bosch battery. Okay. Um, but obviously, the power pack, so the power pack exactly. So um, these batteries are going to be a little longer, but they still fit because they fit as far as like the uh, width and everything goes. Yeah still gonna fit inside and it's a back protector pack so your back is protected from the pressure oh. of the battery if you were to fall on the battery yeah your back is still gonna be protected he, I have a friend who yeah kind of got hit by a car and he had like a lock in his backpack and that sort of yeah. broke his spine so it's nice exactly. if you have a backpack that's designed you know these batteries are, are heavy and and yeah. Yeah, you want that padding and protection exactly. man. that's yeah. a good shout out yeah. are you guys like friends with or like yeah, so connected to Evo somehow we also distribute Evo backpacks as well oh so, you do yeah so we're car of imports, so we distribute uh, Mondraker, Evoc, uh, Rotor, Absolute Black, Enduro Bearing, Smooth wow. Chain Lube, a whole bunch of fun stuff. Well, what's so, your name? My name is Cal. Cal, cool yeah. name too, man. Awesome. <laughs> this is sweet. Thank you for the little overview. Yeah, um, would these be sold through like any specific dealers, or how are people getting these in the states? Yeah, so we are only through bike shops. Um, yeah. So if you just give us a shout, uh, we can either help connect you to your local shop, 
or you can also visit our uh, dealer locator, just mondraker.com. Click on the dealer locator, um, and you can see a map and see all of our What's shops. What's your website? So, mondraker.com? Yeah, mondraker.com. Okay, exactly. great, great. Well, hopefully I'll get to check one of these out later this year. They look like awesome products, and I, I hope you have a great show, man. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks, you too. Later. E-bikereview.com. That's right. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> You got any updates from the show? Oh, you know, it's fabulous. We've been to that long, we've seen some really cool stuff. No shortage of great mountain bikes, that's for sure. Nice. Any highlights? Things that really stood out for you? These monarchs are cool. They are cool. They're very cool. They Tony really Donaldson look integrated. Was telling me about them, and so you know, we're gonna check them out. Sweet, yeah. You gotta come see the new spot. Look at this. The bike shop, Santa Monica. Yeah. I was wondering, you're making the logo. They're, these guys, I've reviewed some bikes at the shop before, and you had like that mermaid logo. Yeah. Kind this of is thing our on. second location. This is the new location, this yeah. This is the bike shop, California, formerly Palm Cycle. Oldest bike shop in Los Angeles. It's been there 80 years. Wow. We took it over, rebranded it, gutted it. And it's like people are hawking and going, what happened? They love it. And we got like a lot of e bikes. I'll have to check it out. What brands are you gonna carry this year? Um, that's to be determined. You know, Norco for sure, the new Norco e bike. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Oh, it's amazing. Five years in the works. I think it's the mountain bike. Is it here at Outdoor Demo? Nope. No? Okay. No, it's top secret. Stuff. You gotta come to somebody's shop and check it out. Yeah. What's... KHS put together a nice little bike, too. Yeah, they We're do. We're doing the cool. Bulls. Uh huh. And um, I'm hoping to get the Spawn Dragger. I'm really looking for some city stuff too, though. You know, being the urban shop we are as well. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be great. Okay. For well, sure. Cool. Thanks for saying hi, Andrew. Hey guys, I was walking around and I saw the Yuba bikes, and this one's looking new to me. This is this is something different. So. I went over, I grabbed Katie here. She's a marketing rep for the company. Can you tell me what yes. this is called? Like, Hi. what are we looking at? Um, so we're looking at the new electric Super Marche. This is the newest bike from Yuba. Super Marche, wow. Yeah. What does that mean? That is technically <laughs> supermarket in French. Supermarket? Yes. Yeah, so you can carry a whole you supermarket. You can carry your whole supermarket. You can carry your groceries. See, we put the cooler in here. Whoa. We loaded it up with some Yerba Mate. That's generous. Just handed it out to the masses. Man, it's got lights and stuff, it looks like. It has lights that are automatically connected, so you have an on-off switch, uh -huh. and you can just get them rolling when you need them. What's going on with the steering so here? This, this is, is funky. This is cable-actuated steering, which is more like a wheel, and it just makes it easier for the tire to maneuver. Because I've seen the ones with the bar, and they yeah. hang down a lot of times, and they yep. lower your ground clearance. Yeah. yeah, that this is not the case. This is awesome, and it helps your steering, and it helps <laughs> maneuver your turn. Wow. Um, with such a long bike, um, it really is key to making it move, move smoothly. Magura quad piston caliper, hydraulic disc brakes, the Bosch CX, of course, because yes. it's got high torque. What did this come with a boombox? Or what's um, going on? Unfortunately, here? you're not going to get the <laughs> boombox, but you do have this little cargo space in the back, and Plastic. this maxes out at around 80 to 90 pounds. 80 or 90 back here. What about the front? You're looking at around 220. Whoa, I could ride in that. Yeah, That's but sweet. you can put another adult in the front. You can put some dogs in the front. Dude. I'm thinking like a basket full of puppies. That is, you know my style. <laughs> what about like tarpaulins and little seats and stuff? Do you, it looks yep. like there's all kinds of... So we have, um, we have one of the largest collections of accessories for the Yuba bikes. You guys are known for that, yeah. Yeah, so you can get a kid seat in here that comes with two seat belts. So you can put Aww. two kids in front That's and great. a dog. <laughs> just only thinking about the dogs here. Yeah. Look at this. This they all come with a new Vinci. This looks like uh, yes. this is the mechanical like N380 maybe. Yep. That's they sweet. That. What's the price point on this? I'm probably gonna review it later in the year, but it's you nice to for know. the electric supermarché. You are looking at five ninety nine. Woo. Woo. <laughs> So five thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. You are correct. Just about six. Okay. Just about six. It's a car replacement, guys. Exactly. This is the new SUV or truck of yeah. the bike path. Can you? Okay. So I see bottle cage bosses. Love that low step over and looks like a really sturdy frame with the yes. extra tubing, the gussets, but. Um, one battery. So is one there battery. options to do other batteries? You just have to put it in a bag or something, put it You're up on You're just gonna have to put it in a bag. Okay. But it's super easy and that battery lasts for a long time. So you don't need two batteries. This is this wins the award for most spacers at the show, definitely. <laughs> this has been fun. Thank you, Katie. Good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. It was good to see you too. Yeah, have a great show. Thanks, you too. Perfect. You're a natural. Uh, <laughs> you did great. I just needed all that coaching. <laughs> Hey guys, we're finishing up the day here at uh, Outdoor Demo Day, and I ran into this gentleman here, Alfred or Alan? Alan. 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 Okay, I, from the from the side, I'm doing my best. I'm getting That's tired. That's okay. It's late in the day. <laughs> it is. And gosh, I found this this 
car to be just uh, magnificent, I think is the word. It's all the accessories. Apparently it's got like solar panels on top and there's like a bike rack on the back or like a bike stand. Inside, no. But can you take me around? Show yeah. us what's going on. Yeah, so we have a mount here for uh, working on your bike where you can, uh, you know, mount your bike here for uh, yeah. servicing it. It's cool. Little. But we have inside bike mounts. Uh, Sweet. A lot, of, a lot of people are going to these electric bikes now, and they're uh -huh. getting a little expensive. They can be. They... Just looked at a ten thousand dollar bike. Can you believe that? But it pedals itself. <laughs> it's great. That's it's... what old guys like me need. Sure is I a mean, lot I, of fun. I ride these, and I pass people, and I apologize, but I say I'm old. I need to get there quicker. <laughs> I don't have much time left. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this this has been built to uh, hold a couple bikes in the back. Mm -hmm. This bed here will actually go up and down. So if somebody Whoa. had a motorcycle, the bed can go up higher. Can I stand on this and, you and look up there? Yeah. I want to see what it looks like. Whoa, there's lights and cubbies. There's a fan. This is so cool. A plug. So I have traveled across the country to sleep in the back of my Prius. And there is not You're a lot of guy. space, and I've that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm sure there are I'm others. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's it's tight. It's not. It's, it doesn't have a sink or a fridge or benches or anything. This is just fantastic. It, I, so you you said there was a solar panel on top to charge. There's two solar panels on top. Huh. This has a big deep cycle marine battery. It has a 2,000 watt inverter, wow. so that runs the microwave, runs all the 110 volt outlets. So charging your camera, charging your phone, huh. running the microwave, any any electric appliance, How big are coffee the, pot. The solar panels are they like 100 watt or 80 uh, watt? They're or? 225 watt panels. Wow, so you got 250 pretty high watts. efficiency. Yes, and big storage unit for the batteries. But basically, it's a motorhome. It's got you know stove, sink, refrigerator, microwave, everything a motorhome has, just in a van. Boom so box. It's got surround sound. Let's right? go back this way because I want to show this little picnic area and they got the cover and then you can bring all your friends and you can face your friends while you're riding that's pretty cool look at this guys does it have a backup camera too oh yes yeah wow. backup camera gps uh, basically home on wheels but we built this one for the show to show uh, options to carry your bikes on the inside What's the price point of this one, like as seen? This one as is one hundred and thirty-eight thousand. They start at a hundred. Cool. Now, what makes this one a little bit more expensive? It's four-wheel drive. So this is a Mercedes turbo diesel four-wheel drive van. Oh wow! And then we have the audio video. We have the solar panels. We have a big awning. These running boards here for off-road. Yeah. They come down really nice for camping, but then when you're off-road, obviously you don't want them there. Whoa. So those go way up under the bottom. And look at the paint job. It's kind of that like nick, nick resistant. Four-wheel drive, again, yeah. people throw rocks up and stuff like that. Smartsville. And gosh, look at those tires. I'm gonna walk up here. This this is just another like picnic table. It's pretty cool. I want to see the solar panel. Whoa, even the hood is, is like nick. Rock resistant. Rock resistant. I, I wish I could climb up and see but this is just so much fun Man, i'm gonna try i'm gonna go for it okay guys here we go going to the back bumper climbing up the side of the thing what hopefully you can see up there here's the camera i think that's about it we're at the end of outdoor demo day but Thank you, Alan. Great way to end, this right? was a good way to end. I have high and five hopefully here. Hopefully, you're not uh, living in your Prius next year. <laughs> yeah. We'll get you in a sports mobile. I gotta keep working hard, I suppose, and then maybe I could buy one of these. That'd be sweet. What? Tell me, is this a diesel? It's a diesel, what? turbo diesel Mercedes. So, uh, 14 to 17 miles per gallon. So, okay. not bad for a four-wheel drive motorhome. For a house, basically. Yes. Wow. So you'll never be homeless. That's true. I mean, true. you might be living on the streets, but it'll be in a Mercedes <laughs> camper. In man. style. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Take care. You too. Hey, Chris. Howdy. We're getting ready to go? Yeah. Did you have a fun time? Had a good time. Getting ready to go to the turn party. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> any, uh, any highlights from the show today that you want to call out just while we're talking? Yeah. Things that looks cool? Yeah, I mean, the show is really cool. Definitely more and more e-bikes every year. And yeah. It's definitely evident that uh, the overall perception and accept acceptance of e-bikes is is growing. Um, and uh, I, I think this venue is awesome. I mean, I uh, like it. It's cooler than, you know, Boot Canyon, Bootleg Canyon? Yeah, Bootleg Canyon. Yeah, I think it's like 100 degrees there right now or something like that. It's, <laughs> it's about 80 something. The trees, cool the chair lift. Some shade. This is great. Been, yeah. I Not agree. too much dust either. Had enough dust in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You were there 
When, how many years ago were you in Afghanistan? I was like 2000. No, I was in Iraq, Kuwait, in Iraq, 2002, 2003. Oh, okay, it was just after Afghanistan stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, on well, my time frames, whatever. I'm glad you're back safe. <laughs> Thanks. And we're man. not in sandy, <laughs> dusty environments. I'll see you guys in future videos and reviews and stuff. Um, I'm going to be at Interbike like all week. Okay, so if there's something you really wanted to see, everyone was like, oh, look at look for the specialized bike. They, they're not here. I don't think they come. A lot of the big companies, Trek isn't here. They, they just, they have their own shows, I guess. So we do have companies like Fantic over here and Bulls. I'm going to check them out. And I hope you guys are doing well. See you on the flip side. Ride safe.